you good morning um, this is kind of a floss tube I think it's like episode 32 33 uh, with the stitch along and I will talk a little bit while I'm stitching and I will just try to add well maybe here uh, my prog project progress uh, pictures instead and I hope you will all be fine with that uh, this time uh, I'm stitching on soft as steel it's a heaven and earth design and the artist is Julie Bell Vallejo um, and I'm using pattern keeper and I'm stitching background so I just my goal is to finish this page and this will be like page number one the first one up in the left corner and it's not the very most fun thing to stitch but I feel like it's a big uh, hurdle. I've been thinking about this for a while, saying that I need to finish two pages of background and just get to the top. And it's taking a long time. So I'm going to stitch with color 66. And I don't know why I picked a new thread, because I have a party thread. It's just been a while since I made a floss tube and a stitch on one. Oops. Yeah, so I know I'm a bit late with the floss tube. I just haven't been in the mood to make one. And I'm been kind of not spending too much time stitching, but um, let's see. I hope my hand is not. Uh, oops, blocking too much of the view. I was fighting all morning with lights and how to uh, with the settings and everything um, so Since um, the last floss tube, I have been working on my Whipgo projects, which were Ann Morrison, the cell I'm in, but I'm getting a little bit tired of because I'm stitching it on 45 count. So I will show a picture here on Ann Morrison. She stitched on 45 count with some very fine silk threads. Um, but um, I think I'm just marking off on Pattern Keeper. So I will park my thread. Let's see could have just kept on stitching these but yeah I will just continue stitching this um, yeah she stitched on 45 count and I'm having a little bit of a hard time um, stitching on that small count where am I there 
Um, yeah, so I'm sitting in my living room and you may, might hear uh, the aquarium in the background. And all the updates on my uh, Android tablet or phone, you might hear that. And my dogs are home, my husband is away, my daughter is sleeping, so she might um, wake up soon. Anyway. I did the March part of the Anne Morrison cell and then I put that away. I thought I was going to stitch a little bit more. That usually takes me like three days to finish off, but uh, no, I didn't want to continue. Um, and then I had something I was looking for to stitch dog's last will and testament and I will add my project project picture here now um, it's stitched on is it 36 count or 40 count maybe yeah I think it's 40 count and um, I actually got to finish the whole upper part of the text so that was kind of fast um, fast stitching but first stitching letters and I, or numbers I think on Ann Morrison and then I went over to stitch more Elf letters um, so I don't think that I can do a little bit every now and then but I don't know if that's like my thing I'm sorry my nose is running um, but I just love that design and you might see that the, the linen is uh, all wrinkled and stuff but I don't enjoy ironing so I might do that in the future <coughs> iron it for a better <sighs> view I don't know why am I sneezing like this <sighs> Jesus um so that was whip go um I usually do that early in the I'm sorry if my hand is covering I'm sorry I'm sorry I just I usually have my hand like this when I'm stitching to grab the needle right away um, yeah I usually do my whip go early in the month um, and what else did I do I had planned out my whole month what project I was going to work on, which days and everything. And surprisingly, not, I didn't stick to the plan because life kind of got in the way and I am more of a stitch what I feel like stitcher and I need to kind of I shouldn't do too many plans. I never stick to them. Um, where I think I'm done there. But also because I got my vaccine dose one from work because I work in the hospital at the clinic for infectious diseases. And I'm not a nurse or anything, I'm a secretary, but I'm there. So, and I was going to work on the vaccine unit for, uh, what do you call that book? Re book for the second dose for the 
people coming there. So they wanted me to have some protection. Anyway, uh, that dose of vaccine. Holy Lord. <laughs> yeah, it wiped me out for a whole weekend. I was not feeling good. And a week after, I got sick with COVID symptoms. I think it was just a normal, uh, what do you call it? Normal uh, cold, because uh, I got tested right away and it was a ne negative result. But I was sick in a way for, from work like almost a whole week. And that is not usual for me. I, don't, I can't remember the last time I was away from work because of a cold or anything. <laughs> so actually last month has been a little bit up and down. And then the week after again, after I was sick, sick that time, I felt bad again. But it just lasted the weekend. Which was um, strange. So... That's also a reason to why I haven't kind of stick to my plans. Uh, but when I was in bed and when I was in bed, in bed, uh, and feeling kind of good enough to stitch a little bit, uh, when, when I, um, I don't turn my work over if I don't have to because I hate doing that. So when I'm finished with the thread, I just pull the end up like at least 10 stitches away. So I could have put it here, which means I have all these ends and they're annoying. Yes. So sometimes I do try to do a pin stitch or something. So, which color was this? This was the 666. I don't need more 666s. Six Sigala at the moment. So, anyway, I made a new start. A very small start. And I will add the picture here. It is on the Highlander uh, bookmark. And it's stitched with three threads. Uh, and I got it from Etsy. It's a complete kit. Uh, so it was very easy, relaxing stitching, um, and I could just stitch a few stitches, put it away if I started feeling bad. And so I did that for the weekend where I was sick after the vaccine, and then um, for when I got sick for real. And sitting in bed, you know, it was kind of nice and having some movies on the tabloid. No, not the tabloid. The Android tablet, yes. So now I'm stitching with the 349. They're almost the same color. Uh, but this, I think you can see, it's a little bit darker and this is very, very red. Christmas red, I guess. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I haven't finished that bookmark yet. Um, yeah, and now we're not allowed to do to take our second dose because it's that AstraZeneca. So we're awaiting what's going to happen next. Um, back to progress. What else have I done? 
Well, I'm stitching on soft as steel. And this design or this whip is, I know, I think it's a bit dark. Anyway, uh, it's in the 21,000 stitches in the year 2021. It's a challenge from the uh, full coverage fanatics. And um, just the end of March, I kind I did about like 1,100 stitches. So I didn't do the full, I don't know, it's like if it's 1,800 stitches. I'm thinking about about 2,000 a month I need to do. Um, so this month I need to do about 3,000 stitches to kind of keep up. But all in all, I have stitched so far uh, 5,599 stitches. Not counting what I've made so far in, in uh, April. Um, oh yeah, dog here. So that's kind of cool, but it is, I mean, I should kick out that challenge, like, with no problems, because I'm just stitching background. And that is very fast and easy stitching, but I do get bored. But soft as steel is like one of the I've gotten so far, so I really would like to have like a big finish just to kind of convince myself as well that it is doable <laughs> I've stitched I'm on 28% so this is the furthest I have gotten on any of the big projects <laughs> and that is if you don't count Train of Dream. Train of Dreams. I finished that one, but that is not like a big project. It's not a project with like 40, 50, 100 pages. So, um, and then um, I'm totally forgetting to tell you guys all the designers and everything. I'm sorry. Anyway, I really felt like stitching on my mini Heaven and Earth design. Mini Dragon in the Morning. It's a Randall Spangler. And I'm stitching it like... I'm, I'm showing you the picture here. You can see I'm stitching it uh, on the diagonal. It took a while to get into it, but now I got a system how to park the threads. I'm stitching it on a 25 count. And it's the easy, easy guide, I think it's called. Mm. And I'm using two threads over one, and I'm half stitching it. Yeah, I wonder what's the difference, different difference between half stitching and 10 stitching. I don't, isn't it the same thing? So, anyway, when you have stitch, it goes a little bit faster, I think. So that's the hope. That's why I'm half stitching, because I'm in my head I'm thinking I should be able to do it twice as fast. I'm just marking off on pattern keeper. 
so we need to grab a new it's the for nine forty three forty nine um and i have gotten quite some progress there i haven't marked down the amount of stitches but it has to be somewhere around 3,000, at least 4,000 stitches maybe. I've gotten to just over 10%. It's so cool. And I'm so happy because when I showed the picture, my progress on the cell page on Facebook, the Randall Spangler Diamond Painting and Cell, I think it's called. Uh, Randall Spangler is a member there and he commented on my progress and he said it looked nice. So I was really starstruck, you know. Uh, I think it's so sweet of them to engage with their fans. Uh, so I'm really enjoying Spangler, or uh, the dragon, in the morning. Um, and I would like to keep on, but then I was thinking of my softest steel. You need to get at least 3,000 stitches this month if you're going to keep up. And you really want to finish that page. I need to finish this page. It will be such a big goal to complete. <laughs> Oops. Let's just do one more. And the the red lines you see here is a very thin uh, fish line where I grid out a page or two as I go. Because I, I don't really like the easy grid fabric. I like that it's pre-gridded. It makes everything so much easier. But I find the fabric very hard. And my fingers don't like that. I don't like that at all. So I prefer to stitch on a different kind of fabric and grid it. Um. So, um, I have stitched quite a bit on my Chatelaine Poison Garden. Uh, that one is also a lot of fun. It's all kinds of different threads specialty stitches, back stitching, everything, beading, crystals. So I've completed the whole center with the belladonna surrounded. I'm adding a picture here now, you can see. Um, yeah. Those designs are just amazing. They're beautiful. And the support group on Facebook, everyone there is so nice and helpful. So I was kind of hooked on the Chatelaines for a while. I'm still hooked. It's not that, but it was very much focused on that. And um, um, I've ordered quite a lot of them. 
Not a lot of them, but a few. But now I'm all just, I just want to stitch heaven and earth again because it's so easy. And when I get to the park and do one grid at a time, I'm so calm and happy. Um, so, since I'm, I felt like that, looking forward, oh yeah, and also, <laughs> the whip go for f for February February no April it's April Jesus uh, the numbers that was pulled which numbers were that hold on a sec it was number three and twenty one. And the designs were my 3 and 21 was Anne Morrison again and Soft as Steel again. So I was like, okay, well, let's just do the Soft as Steel right away. So that's what I'm doing. But I don't feel like stitching Anne Morrison whatsoever at this moment. And I just felt like I had chosen a few of my heaven and earth, which I was thinking these are the ones that I will work on during the year. Um, but then I was like, now I'm just gonna pull out all the designs I really want to stitch on, where I do, where I have the materials and everything, and. I think I had five designs before that became like uh, 16. <laughs> oh my god. So now I'm just going to stitch on all of them in s some way without getting stressed. And I decided to kit up a new Heaven and Earth which is Couch Dragon. So as fast as I get the last threads, I'm starting that. Because I've been eyeing that one since it came. And then Nikki on Nikki Crafts, go check her out, she's just amazing. She stitched that one so fast. I think it's like 12 pages and maybe six, seven, eight partial ones or something. Yeah, she stitched that one so fast. And I, oh, I just, it's such a nice design. So I just made up my mind. I'm going to stitch it, or at least I'm going to start it. And first of all, there was, there is, I think there's 83 colors in Couch Dragon. And it's an Heaven and Earth design by Randall Spangler. And then I was like deciding, okay, now I'm just gonna see, order the threads from here in Sweden because now shipping and all the taxing from England is, yeah, it's, it's gonna cost me more to get the thread packs and I don't know if it's worth it anymore and you can't order DMC threads from the States so I decided to order the 83 colors and it, there was only two colors which needed two skeins so it, in all I would have, have to order 85 uh, gains and that would be around a hundred bucks uh, 
But then I told myself, well, shouldn't you just check out, like, I have four or five boxes of just the complete DMC collection. And I told myself, just go and see what you have. And I was supposed to order one of those organizing plastic boxes where you put your bobbins. I had one of those as well, empty. So I went through everything I had and I went from 85 skeins to 15. So I just needed to order 15 skeins um, from Sweden. And I mean, that's, that's uh, kind of, that's like 15, how much is $15? Oh, there, it's a little bit more. So $20? No. It costs a little bit more than a dollar a skein. One and a half dollars, I think. Um, so that, that wasn't even expensive anymore, but then, uh, there was one color which I couldn't get from Sweden. So, and instead of Kranich, I just realized when, now when I'm stitching shell lane, I need the petite treasure braids from, uh, silk gathering. What's it called? Yeah, the ones who has the whisper thread and everything. It's such a nice metallic thread to stitch with. Uh, so I went to the Italian store, Casa Sanina, and ordered a few cards with that. Because Couch Dragon wants the glitter in it. And I like that effect. Um... So I also ordered the missing color, the MC color. Um, yes, so I'm very excited about starting a new Heaven and Earth project, which I will probably never ever finish. I, I counted, I was out walking with the dogs with my, walking the dogs with my daughter, and I said, well, I have like 16 Heaven and Earths that I would, I would like to finish, you know, or, you know, get a very big progress on them. And I was saying, if you just stitch on one project, then maybe it would take um, three years to finish. We all know it might take longer. Um, and I said that would be like 40, 48 years for me to finish those projects. And then I can never stitch a shell lane. I can never stitch a hands across the sea sample or, or a mirabilia. Oh my God, let's not forget the mirabilia. And I said, that's kind of depressing because I'm turning 45 this year. So I told her, you need to start stitching. You need to take over when I'm too old or when I'm dead or and if you don't like that you need to go to the heaven and earth group and give away my stuff so somebody gets to enjoy them <laughs> yeah anyway i'm i'm i don't know i think i'm maybe a bit too far away but i will show you instead of ending the threads with pulling up the ends like this uh because they do get in the way and it looks messy. And I understand there's people who find that very annoying and stressful. So what I do is I take my needle up a bit, just a little bit further away. And you need to go up to the right of um, where the fabric thread is going from top to bottom and it's laying over the thread going from left to right. So I just 
go up there and then I pinch my needle I stab the thread going from left to right so I get my needle and thread under the thread that goes from the top to the bottom like this so I'm hiding the thread I, I pull a little bit so it gets under that uh, thread and then I go up in the hole also to the right of the thread going from top to bottom but on top of the hole I just went up nobody's gonna understand what I'm saying and then I stab it again at the same place I go down under pull a little bit so it disappears and then I go up to the left of the thread that goes from top to bottom like so and then I take my scissors and I cut the end <clears throat> and you might see that there's a little bit of a pinkish color there but I know that this is all background so it will be covered up and now I have a little bit of thread going here in the back which I will stitch in so that's a way to do it and I like that method method quite a lot um, too yeah so let's uh, keep on with the with this yeah so I stitched up uh, couch dragon I have two more starts I want to because I'm gonna go crazy now I'm gonna go crazy I'm gonna start the treasure quest I have had the fabric and I don't have all the threads but I have some threads and I I can kind of borrow from the other projects I have um, let's let's wait now I'm gonna start this thread so I go down to the I go down through the hole at the bottom right and I leave a little tail so I'm doing a loop method start when stitching one over one and then I go up in the bottom left corner making sure that tail stays there And then I go down in the same hole I just got up in, the bottom left, I go down in the same hole. And I usually secure the tail just holding my finger like this. I go down and I leave a little loop there. Then I go up in the top right corner with my needle and I go through the loop and pull make sure that tail sticks there stays there and I pull and then I go down in the left bottom corner again I need to do this with my right hand like so oh yeah and then you got stuck on the fish line And then I go down and then I pull on the, the little tail and the thread I have under the fabric. So that's a half cross. And then I go up in the top left corner and down in the bottom right corner corner where, where the tail is. And now I have a cross and then I can cut off the tail And I have a secure start. Very helpful. So yeah, um, treasure quest. I'm starting that. And there is one thing I need to start. The eternal promise. I have the whole kit. It was the original one. Um, 
so it's not a super size it's not with max colors and everything which would be just awesome i mean the detail in the clothes oh my god but i was thinking stitching that all that no i no nah. so but i've seen i mean again take a look at nikki croft's uh videos and it, the eternal promise is just so beautiful as it is so yeah so that's one i'm gonna start as well and then i have plenty of work to do yes um so i was a little bit curious about the uh, well, kind of like, which one should I stitch? You know, how do I do? Should I do a wheel? But then I came to think of um, the, f uh, the full coverage fanatics. They have the bingo. So they have a bingo board with subjects on. And I grabbed that one. And I think I can fill out the whole board um except for one evergreen trees evergreen trees isn't that like christmas trees and i don't have a design with that i thought there were evergreen trees in a once upon a fairy tale by amy stewart but i don't think so And then I was thinking, because at the in the background of Eternal Promise, there's quite a lot of trees. But I don't think they're evergreen trees. No. So. That's the only one. So then for each square uh, with the subject to fill out like... Uh, um, one of them was bird. So there's a bird on my Deliciosa. Then I need to stitch 1000 stitches on that design. But for example, since I can't find a design in all of my designs, oh my god, it's, um, I get a penalty on 2,000 stitches, and I guess I can stitch the 2,000 stitches on any design I want. It's too bad the Grand Master doesn't count as a full coverage. Because I'm pretty sure there are some evergreens there. Yeah. But that was kind of fun. I should go through the uh the bingo board with all the subject subjects it's, it was quite fun and which i haven't done yet i haven't calculated how many stitches on each design i need to do but yeah and at the same time i didn't got i, I won't get to stitch on all of the designs i have so we'll see, but it, it felt like a fun thing to do. So the goal for April is I will try to do the whip go. And I know um, the whip go is soft as steel, so that's no problem. But it's Deanne Morrison. And I will get to stitch a little bit on the shadow lane. I'm at a point now where um, it's a bit tricky. So I'm taking it very slow there. And I then just stitch a lot of heaven and earth. Because that's what I feel like doing at the moment. Um, yeah. So that's all I think. I do have haul, but I will 
show that in my next floss tube where I have my settings more like usual. I hope it was okay that I stitched while talking and just adding pictures. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna part my thread here. And uh, I hope to see you all soon. Have a nice one. Bye.